How long do you plan to do this for? Live here like this on the street? Um, I wouldn't say I'm like living on the street. You know, I came to New Orleans and we didn't know if we were going to have a place to stay or not. About a half mile from the moonwalk, in the shadows of the Crescent City Connection, sits a little vagrant village. I couldn't live with my parents, but you know, I'm not going to follow their rules the way they want to, you know. This is home to a collection of homeless artists, teenagers, and others who just want to live off the fat of the land. Something to do until the spaceship comes down to pick me up again. I just got a wanderlust, man. And I'm like traveling around because it's, it's beautiful, man. There's no, there's no reason to stick to like one place. Is this the America you thought you would see when you got here? No, of course not. Oh, I'm here because I'm in trouble with the law. They don't have a name. They range in age anywhere from 17 to 50. 20 years old, been living on the streets for about three and a half years now. They're anti-government, anti-establishment, anti the whole system. And I've been basically like traveling like East Coast now for a couple years, like up and down. Um, came here like a couple months ago. They, uh, they come by, especially in, a, in the winter when it's, I presume they come down here because they're from other places where it's cold. They come down here when it's warmer. And also there's a lot of activity going on. There. I get the impression from, uh, like I said, some of them that are, uh, when you talk to them, they well, they seem to be well educated. I mean, they speak well. I mean, they're not, they're not dumb dumbs. You know, they're not morons. They can get money by sitting on the sitting on the sidewalk with their their hat out, you know. And people will help them. My uh, attitude on that is just like a, ha a house cat. If you feed a stray cat, they keep coming back. I was born here in New Orleans. I spent all my life in Louisiana. I spent the most part on the North Shore, inside. I lived with my parents. Uh, I've been here for the past two, three years. Do your parents still live here? Yes, they do. And how often do you come, are in contact with them? As, as little as possible. I wanted to be an artist, freelance, work for myself, do whatever I really want to do. But that's kind of difficult right now. I'm from Florida and I've been out here for like a year and a half. I'm 17. Basically, I just kind of want to be out here now, just because it's just the way I like living. Give me like long-term goals, just to survive. I'm <laughs> um, from New York. I crash where I land, you know. I've spent a lot of time in New Orleans, just trying to figure things out, check out the world and shit. I don't know. If I do this for too long, I'll end up a bum. So that's no good. I don't know, if I knew what I wanted to do, then I'd be doing it. From Miami, and um, I was born and raised there. I practically lived there all my life, but somehow I end up other places most of the time. I graduated from a performing arts high school in Miami, and for dance, 
Maybe I'll continue with that. I don't know. But I had surgery. <laughs> I've been scared to dance again since the surgery. When they call me Moon. Moon? Yeah. That's my name. I'm 19. How long have you been roaming around the country? Just uh, four years. Does your family know where you are? Yeah. Yeah, they do. I'm actually pretty happy I'm here. Hey. My name is Josh Christ. Uh, just got out of jail in New York. Came down here for New Year's and party uh, crowd and all that stuff. I call my dad about once every two weeks, let him know where I'm at, you know, because I'm in a different state, you know, all the time. One of these days, not even time soon, but one of these days I want to get a job, you know, something that I like doing and get my ass off the street. So when I'm 30, if I turn 30 and I'm still living on the streets, I think I'll be a little bit worn out, you know? My name's Pam, that's not my real name, but um, I'm from, I'm originally from Boston. Uh, lived in New Hampshire for a few years. Um, lived in Pennsylvania in a lockup for about two years. My father was an alcoholic, so he used to, like, you know, he'd come home all drunk. And like here I am like five years old, my father's stumbling in drunk telling all of us kids to get out because we annoy him. I see my sister and my brother every now and then because they live here and work here. And I see him every now and then, but it's just kind of like, hey, what's up, blah, blah, blah. My sister like, look at me. And I, say, I talk to my mom every now and then, but like, like the last time I talked to her when I was in jail and I needed bail money. I'm going to be a writer and an actor. Writer and actor? Like it's not even a dream, like I know I am. What kind of writing? So, um, poetry and philosophical essays. So I already have like a few books for it. I don't have a published or anything because it costs money to get them published. So. Yeah. But that's where we sleep. Where we wake up in the mornings. And we come out here and we spare change and we get something to eat. And we get some alcohol. We usually spare change for alcohol because we get kicked down so like we have to have some shit. But I mean, it's kind of sad, but people are more likely to give you money out here for alcohol than for food. <laughs> See, that, you tell them straight up, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna buy alcohol buy with it. Yeah. I promise I will not buy food. And they're like, oh my god, here you go. I remember one time, some guy walking in like a suit and tie, and we were like, spare some change. And he just walked by ignoring us, and we were like, it's for substance abuse. And he turned around and he was like, oh, oh. Well, Substance abuse, yeah, two dollars. Like, what the hell? I like to shave my head. I don't have razor. And, uh, besides that, you know, I go to the bathroom at least once a day. Well, I'm in New Orleans, I get drunk a lot. And I uh, hang out with people. I listen to the music. Right now, I'm staying at a friend's house who I met last time I was here. Gave us a place to stay last night. We just wander. <laughs> wander everywhere. Try to get something to eat. It depends on where I'm at, but since I've been here, I usually wake up, I go get a beer or something. Um, I sit here for like maybe two or three hours, panhandle up about seven bucks, go get a fifth of vodka, and then we go down the river, we get drunk, get our buzz on, come down. Ask of these people for some more money, and just from there, it's just getting drunk. Tourists don't mess with us because we're messing with them. Um, store owners, yeah, because like the outside of the store, you're sitting there asking them for money and stuff, and they hassle you about being outside, you know, bugging their customers and stuff. Basically, like, my day really is, like, get drunk and find a tourist girl. Like, I don't even want to have sex with them, really, just because they have hotels and shit. So me and my friend ride, like, we'll get drunk, we'll find a tourist girl and go back to their hotel. Like, we want floor space, right? Have your bed, I just want to crash inside, take a shower in the morning, you know? And it all, like, 99% of the time, they're like, sleep up on the bed with me. So it's just basically get drunk and get, and, like, have sex and not uh, get high. Because when you, like, the most money that you have in a day is, like, $7. Fucking, you can't go to like a museum, you know, you can't go to like a fucking zoo or the aquarium or anything like that, so it's just fucking get drunk and find a fucking fly chick to go home with or something. Where do you keep your possessions now? You said all you have is what you've got on you. This is all I have right here. 
I actually I have one more pair of pants. And I keep them under the um, stairs that go down to the river. Up on the moonwalk? Yeah. That's like all I have is a pair of pants and I keep them there. But right now I can't sleep there because there's a lot of rats and it's all muddy and nasty like so I don't stay there anymore. <coughs>